Mr. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to start by thanking you for uh, agreeing to hold this hearing and, and Ranking Member Hatch for his uh, tireless efforts to ensure that Republican members of this committee would have the opportunity to raise important issues regarding PNTR directly with administration officials. Uh, I look forward to working with uh, been no greater uh, advocate for trade than Senator Hatch, and I look forward to his leadership in the, the next weeks as we move forward with Russia PNTR and try and get a constructive and, and, and bipartisan agreement that we can, that we can get, uh, get through here. We've heard a great deal about the benefits of enacting PNTR for U.S. businesses, farmers, ranchers, and others who are conducting business in Russia currently or who would like to access uh, this growing and prosperous market. I have uh, with me a letter today uh, sent from more than 100 companies, business associations, and other groups that calls on Congress to enact PNTR as soon as possible and preferably before Russia joins the WTO in August. In my view, the economic arguments in favor of enacting PNTR are overwhelming. We're not giving up anything if we enact PNTR because we already grant Russia normal trade relations status on a yearly basis, and we've done so for 20 years. Yet we have much to gain from PNTR, including better access to the world's fifth largest agricultural market and the world's sixth largest economy. So the question before us today is not so much should we grant Russia PNTR, but rather how should we go about doing it in a timely manner. And by timely, I mean in a manner that does not put U.S. companies doing business in Russia at a competitive disadvantage. I was an outspoken critic of the fact that the Obama administration waited more than two and a half years before submitting the free trade agreements with Colombia, Korea, and Panama to Congress. As a result, trade agreements between Canada and Colombia and between the EU and Korea entered into force before our agreements took effect. Now that put American soybean and wheat growers and many other U.S. producers at a completely unnecessary and self-imposed disadvantage. We should not repeat that mistake. We should, we should instead do everything we can to ensure and enact PNTR before Russia joins the WTO in August, lest American agriculture producers and others find themselves at a competitive disadvantage again due to the, due to the inability of Congress and the administration to get things done. That's why I joined with Chairman Baucus and Senators McCain and Kerry to get the PNTR process started now so that we can have a chance to build momentum for PNTR before the August recess and before we find ourselves in the midst of a presidential election campaign when we know it's going to be difficult for Congress to act. I believe that uh, Chairman Baucus has outlined a reasonable process for moving forward under which a variety of concerns regarding Russia can be considered and where appropriate addressed by amendment. In my mind, the most pressing non-economic issue appropriate to this debate is how we can foster the rule of law in Russia and, and help the Russian people combat corruption and human rights abuses. Certainly, Russia joining the WTO, a rule-based system, will help in this regard. But I also want to emphasize uh, to each of you how important I believe it is that a robust uh, version of the Magnitsky human rights legislation is supported by Senators McCain, Cardin, Kyle, myself, and others be paired with the repeal of Jackson Vanek. Advancing the Magnitsky bill in, the, in a forum that can continue to enjoy broad bipartisan support is not only essential to the process of enacting PNTR, it will also replace an outdated and ineffective instrument of U.S. foreign policy, Jackson Vanek, with one that is timely and appropriate given the human rights and corruption challenges facing Russian society. Chairman Baucus's strong commitment to include a version of the Magnitsky bill supported by its bipartisan co-sponsors when this committee considers PNTR was a major reason why I felt comfortable in moving forward as a co-sponsor of Russia PNTR legislation. I hope the administration realizes that a strong version of Magnitsky as judged by its bipartisan co-sponsors is critical to getting PNTR done in a timely fashion. And I also hope that the administration understands it will need to engage aggressively over the next several weeks with members of Congress, not just those members of finance and ways and means, but all members to forcefully make the case for PNTR if we're going to get this done. I look forward uh, to much more robust and active engagement from the administration on this issue between now and the August recess. And I have a quick uh, question, if I might, for uh, uh, Ambassador Kirk and Secretary Vilsack, and that has to do with concerns I've heard from the agricultural community about Russia's commitment to abide by the sanitary, sanitary and phytosanitary, or SPS, obligations that they're undertaking, especially with respect to pork, poultry, and meat. It's obviously a very important uh, issue for many agricultural states, and I'm wondering if you could uh, uh, speak to that issue. I'll try to leave plenty of time for... Um, um Secretary Vilsack, but this is an That's issue. Not too much. We got to go. Yes, <laughs> we are going to continue to follow that. The important thing is Russia agreed that they will abide by the WTO principles on SPS standards when they join. But this is an area we know that we're going to have to really follow and watch them. Senator, I just add that it 
gives us the opportunity to actually have a form in which we can adjudicate disputes. Right now, we are uh, in a very difficult circumstance. They can do things arbitrarily, not science-based, not rules-based, without any risk assessment, and we have no recourse. This will give us the recourse and the power to basically change their views about things. And I, I will tell you, if we can compete on an even field, we will win that competition every time. But it's, right now, it's not necessarily easy.